So Robbo, it's a tough one to take today. How do you reflect on that match today? Um, we didn't do enough. Um, sloppy start, um, but we, we got ourselves out of it, out of the start uh, with a really good goal. But um, unfortunately, we we didn't do enough, and that's the, the bottom line of it today. We um, we didn't work hard enough. I don't think we we didn't have that that usual spark that we had uh, for whatever reason. And um, they scored two, and we scored one at the end of the day. And it's 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 really frustrating. You know, it's a a really quiet dressing room. Um, but yeah, we're a really tough one to take. You mentioned that spark. Come out in the second half, and so often, especially at home, we've seen you look a completely different side from that first half, and that just didn't happen today. Yeah, I'm glad you remember. Yeah, um, and your guess why is as good as mine. Um, I'm trying to pick up the words here at the moment because it's, it's 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 a really really bad one to take. You know, everyone's so disappointed in there. You know, the FA Cup was kind to us last year. Um, you know, going to Charlton was a fantastic day, and 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 everyone's devastated that, that first off we haven't been able to do it for, for the club, you know, for the chairman, for the, for the prize money, and, and secondly for the the chance to to go get that big day out or, or have a big day here. Um, so yeah, we're we're all really 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 disappointed there. And uh, in, that, in that second half, I mean, there was a couple of mistakes that led to the, the goal. What, how, what was your view of it? It's easy to to say mistakes here, mistakes there, cost us individual, whatever the, the situation, whatever game. Um, but as a team, we didn't we didn't do enough. Um, you know, we, we created enough chances to score a couple of goals. You know, ones in the post, a couple of good blocks from them. Um, and I actually think we created more than them in terms of clear cut chances. But at the other end, Ross has had to save us a couple of times. And um, the one time he isn't there to save us, it, it, it's a goal. So it's a team. It's a team effort. It's a collective effort. It, it, it's it's the fact that we as a team didn't do enough today uh, to beat them. And I saw you chatting to Josh in the dressing room just now. How is his injury? Uh, I don't know. If I'm honest, um, he's not 100 percent sure what what the issue is. But but with Joe Ash, if he's come off, it's you know he, he's a, he's a tough nut. He'd have stayed on if he could. So it's obviously something that's forced him to come off today. Um, but he'll rest it over the, the weekend and come back in Tuesday, ready to go, I'm sure. OK, well, looking ahead now, back to the league, uh, how does you and the team sort of move on from this? Well, look, it's like anything. Any team that takes a loss has to pick themselves up and, and dust themselves down. You know, we'll come in Tuesday, we'll we'll watch the game and, and dissect the goals and, and look at the good and the bad of the game. Um, look at how we can take the good into the game against Oxford City and uh, how to, to get rid of the bad. Um, and if we can do that, I have no doubt that we can we can put in a, a much better performance next week in what's going to be a, a really tough game, you know, a personal game for me, a personal game for Joe Osler. Um, but we focus now, you know, we we have the weekend to, to sort of sit on the loss and to, to understand it. We have Tuesday morning to, to sit and watch and, and, and appreciate what we didn't do well enough. Um, and then all focus will be will be back onto the league, you know, and, and looking to continue the form that we have in the league. And um, and, and as difficult as it will be, put this one behind us. And I know next month the uh, fixtures get quite relentless, as yeah. midweeks and every week. So it's quite nice this week to be able to have that week's gap. Yeah, I think and if you ask any footballer, they'd rather play. You know, they'd always rather play on a on a midweek. But um, it will give us a good opportunity uh, to really look at today because. We've been going well, you know. We have been going well. Um, there's no point not saying that. You know, we've we've that's our first loss of the season, um, and, and we've been we've been winning games, and it, it's brought us all down to earth a little bit in in the changing room. Um, as I say, we're obviously devastated, but what it does do the, the week without a game gives us an opportunity to to really look at things and to really uh, dissect things and to, to get ourselves right for, for Saturday. Thank you very much. Cheers.